All right, this is the starting point, I guess. I thought that there was something about it as far as um, problems and troubleshooting in the Replicator 2X user manual, but there really wasn't. I think I started by uh, going to the site and finding their website and finding that they talked about it. And I opened up a ticket and they sent to me this email with the steps in order and I printed it out so I could have it handy. Now just because they sent it to me doesn't mean it was super simple. I mean it's not too bad but no drawings, no nothing. So I'm going to help you uh, understand that if you get, first of all, um, if you look down in here, um, it's if you should do this if you get one of the following three messages. Number one, heating failure. My extruders are not heating properly. Check my connections. Number two, heating failure. My extruders are losing temperature. Check my connections. Or three, heating failure. Uh, heating error, excuse me. My temperature reads are failing. Please check my connections. And I believe I was getting number three. So, I brought the printer up from where it is so I could film this without being disturbed and the first thing you need to do is you here's my printer I just put it on my bed here um, obviously you need to make sure it's off and unplugged alright and what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to uh, let me take the the lid off here so take the lid don't need that right now right is to tilt it on its side like this alright so and based on the instructions it seemed to be saying tilt it that way so that it ends up leaning on its right hand side okay now this uh, right here, this is the bottom cover. It's metal. And it was down covering the circuit board here. Right? And there's the cable going to the, to the display over here. But we're interested, for the sake of this video, in the thermal... By the way, uh, basically, I had to unscrew uh, a screw from here, 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 and here using that Allen wrench. Right? It's fairly simple. I took the screws that I have right now and I and I put them in the Ziploc bags that bag that I keep my Allen wrenches in till I put it back on. I am not going to put it back on till this is all working the way it should down the road. Okay, so if you look here, see that green little connector there? Right there. That is where the thermocouple cables are coming in. One's for one extruder, one's for the other extruder. And what you need to do is you need to unscrew these screws if you have this kind of connector. If you have another kind of connector, I really uh, can't help you very much. Um, I guess there's a possibility for another connector. You need kind of one of those teeny tiny like um, jeweler screwdrivers because those are very small screws. So just be aware of that. Thankfully, I had something like that. So let's look down in there a bit and you can see it's a little blurry but let me explain something um, basically you want to unscrew and pull out the wire and just do it my advice is just do it on the extruder that's giving you trouble so minimize the possibilities of problems and then you would put the wires back in the same way and screw it down but 
there is the screws basically tighten these little metal plates these flat metal plates and the flat metal plates so here's the opening kind of right here's the opening um, the metal plates are more toward the front toward the screw and you've got to make sure that you get the the bare metal part of the wire in between those metal plates there's a gap in here in the back where you could stick it in which is what I was doing initially and when I tighten down the screw and then pulled on the wire right now it's fine but when I pulled on the wire it would just slide right back out which freaked me out until I figured this out so just pay attention to that so you would unscrew the let's I would have unscrewed these two screws this is the right extruder this is the left extruder so kind of matches up if you tilt the printer this way the cables match up with when you're facing the printer the right the left very nice okay so basically that's how you check it I would I would of course before screwing the bottom back on I would put the printer back upright and plug it back in and everything and then kind of run it a while and make sure that everything is working that it was just a loose connection hopefully I will do a uh, video in the near future on changing the thermocouple cable if it's bad because my right one definitely seems to be bad so um, they sent me one and hopefully I will fix it so there you go